What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So with the last video that I made, I talked about Shiba Inu, the ecosystem dev team, and I broke down why we may have made a mistake overall. But in this video, I want to talk about kind of that realistic perspective. Will Shiba Inu really make you a millionaire? There are plenty of videos out there saying that Shiba Inu will make you a millionaire. I have titles that tell you that, but then go into detail and talk about the realistic perspective of it. And I think this is kind of understanding everybody's side of the story because I see shorts, I um, you know, short videos on YouTube, I see shorts on, on TikTok, I see longer form videos, I see live streams to where it's all about becoming a millionaire from these positions. And to be 100% honest, right from the gate, we don't know how much we will make from Shiba Inu. You can become a millionaire depending on how much you do have, but it also depends how high it gets when you decide to sell. There are many different factors into whether we are going to see a million dollars from this position alone and become a SHIB millionaire. So let's talk about this. I wanna go through an update and then give you my realistic perspective based on a lot of things that I saw, read, um, you know, watched, listened to, and think myself. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you wanna check out my new credit card YouTube channel, if you wanna find another way to support me, this is a way to support me with that credit card YouTube channel. I do love credit cards. I, I love talking about bonuses, um, rewards, um, you know, different uh, things that you can get with credit cards, traveling for free and different, um, you know, free stuff that you can get. Anything free that you can get is always great because you can say that nothing is truly free, but if you can make it free, there are instances to where you can do that. And with credit cards, you can definitely do that. So let's talk about Shiba Inu in this video. Uh, if we currently look at where Shiba Inu is, it's at 0.00006985. It's down a slight bit today. Not a crazy amount, but it is down a slight bit. We are seeing that the volume is down by 26%, so we're not seeing as much hype, as much belief that's going into there, but also the overall volume of the market is down by about 12%, so it's not crazy far off, especially when you see more of a meme or popular play. They typically have more aggressive volume to the downside or the upside. You're seeing a $74 million in volume day. Um, and if we look at market cap or volume to market cap ratio, that's sitting at about 1.85% uh, or uh, just about 2%, um, which doesn't really show the major form of popularity that Shiba Inu really has. But you know, it's still uh, a decent amount of volume that we, we see there. Now, if we go into how many holders there are, I haven't updated people on how many holders there are. We currently are seeing 1.3, it hasn't really shifted too much, 1.3 million holders, and it continues to grow. It's just not growing at a crazy rapid pace, especially in more of a bear market. When you start to see that bullish market, yeah, I would imagine 1.4, 1 1.5, 2, uh, 2 million uh, holders within it. I would imagine that. You know, so when I look at Shiba Inu and you look at the price point, that's where people are always like very happy with the fact that, oh, it doesn't matter what supply they have. It matters about how many zeros they have and how many zeros we can take away. So the main questions that I get within the live streams are, can we drop this zero? We drop the fifth zero. Can we drop the fourth zero? And somebody even asked me, can we drop down to about 10% of a penny? Well, 10% of a penny would be a very high market cap hundreds of billions of dollars worth of a market cap and uh, not saying it's completely out of the question because we understand that there are a lot of other projects out there that will grow quite a bit and who knows how high the the ceiling will be for the next bull run right this bull run that we saw the past bull run which was a long time ago at this point uh, it was all about different projects getting to a hundred billion dollars you saw bitcoin and ethereum that were up there uh bitcoin and ethereum are still up there and Bitcoin was even over a trillion dollars. But then it was everything else, like XRP, like BNB, Solana, ADA, Dogecoin, trying to find Shiba Inu to get up there as well. So there's multiple projects that are really pushing up to that $100 billion level. And that was the 
main resistance that we saw. When it gets to $100 billion, people are like, this is done. Um, let's go ahead and get out of the position. They sold the position. You see it come back a little bit. And then obviously the major bear market that did hit, you know, hit us. So people are always wondering if we're going to see, people are always wondering if we're going to see um, the, you know, Shiba Inu drop these zeros and add the zeros to our overall balance, right? If we have a thousand dollars right now and we literally drop a zero and are at the same, um, you know, dollar value, um, basically being 0. 0.00006 instead of 0. 0.00006, like kind of just moving that zero, then we add that zero to our balance. We look at $10,000 or you take away two zeros, we look at $100,000 and so on and so forth. So people are always wondering like how likely is it going to make that move? Well, understand that Shiba Inu is up in the billion dollar market cap level. Typically, when people are asking these questions, you're looking at something that's maybe worth less than a billion dollars, a hundred million dollars, something like Jasmine coin, right? Where Jasmine coin is sitting at uh, 30%, 40% of a penny. Can it get up to a higher level? Absolutely. Can it take away a lot of these zeros? Absolutely. It's at a hundred million dollar market cap. So seeing it at a billion dollar market cap is not far fetched, but seeing Shiba Inu at a $40 billion market cap taking away one of these zeros or seeing it at a uh, $400 billion market cap is where people start to kind of lose their mind because the idea that the ceiling is still $100 billion is still firmly in place. So what's the likelihood that you, you become a millionaire, right? Well, again, it all depends on how much you have, right? If you have 100 million Shiba Inu coins, does that mean that you can become a millionaire because you have 100 million? Well, it also, as you have more zeros, it gives you a higher chance to get to that million dollar level. So for me, let's say, um, what, 100 plus million uh, Shiba Inu after burning a lot. Um, if you look at that and you just round it, let's just say it is for you 100 million. You have uh, certain zeros that you're at. You're at um, a, a penny. That's going to get you to a million dollars, right? But if you have a billion uh, coins, then you get to 10% of a penny and now you also have a million dollars. So it really depends on how much you have in the end. Also, it depends on how much will be burned. Right now, we haven't really seen a major burn rate for Shiba Inu. So it doesn't make sense to say that we're going to see 99% of the supply that's going to burn off because in the last two plus years, we haven't seen Shiba Inu burn even 1%. So why should we think that we're going to burn 99% with anything unless the community comes up with something drastic or um, somebody comes out of nowhere and actually can adjust Shiba Inu and change Shiba Inu and add a tax or something? I don't really know, but there's no way right now that we are burning 99%. That's just not happening, but we can always see the growth in the market cap. So what do you expect the market cap to get to based on the hype and the amount of people that are involved in it? Well, I expect you to see, you know, two, three million people that are probably holding this position over the next, you know, three years or so. I expect to see it at a $50 billion market cap, if not a $60 billion market cap. But that really only brings a dropped zero into the equation or two drop zeros into the equation, but not like a drop zero and you know, six, right? It's going to be like a drop zero and one because we get to this drop zero level. We're looking at about a $40 billion market cap right now because if we add a zero here, we take a zero away from here and we add a zero here, that's going to be a $40 billion market cap. But then if we decided to add, take away another one, that's a $400 billion market cap. So, but if we are looking at taking away those zeros and having a one, so 0 0.0001, that's only a... Uh, that's only a 100, sorry, I'm losing my, my train of thought. That's only a 40, so you have a $40 billion market cap at this level, and then you see it up there, that would be a 500 and, or $59 billion market cap at that level of just taking away that next zero, right? Because we're already close to that. Sorry, I was losing, losing my train of thought there. But um, becoming a millionaire is, is tough um, for this position, you're going to need quite a bit. 
I would say that you probably would love to see a, a 10x return, 20x return. I would bank on that. And if you do have you know, $20,000, a hundred or ten thousand dollars, then it's likely that you can have that chance. But there's also one more factor that people always neglect to add into the equation, and that's if you are going to be able to hold on to it for that long. If you have ten thousand dollars worth of Shiba Inu right now, and let's say a year later, or let's say it's three months from now, you turn that into three hundred thousand dollars. And it's holding at $300,000 for a matter of maybe two months. You start to hear maybe a little bit of rumors and news that things don't really look too good within Shiba Inu or don't really look too good in the crypto market. What do you decide to do? You don't want to lose $300,000. So what do you do? You probably end up either taking a very large amount of profit or you take all of it. And I'm a big fan of taking a little bit of profit. That's just how it goes. Profit taking strategies are the way to go. But majority of people will have it burn a hole in their pocket and take the whole entire thing, which is not a bad thing, but you won't become a millionaire from it. It doesn't mean that you failed. It means that you succeeded in a large way. You can pay off bills, pay off uh, debts, and you know maybe pay off your house and just everything that you wanted to do with $300,000. But the issue is that you didn't become a millionaire, so now it seems like a failure to a lot of other people, when in reality, it's not a failure at all. It's a success. You succeeded. So don't be, don't be stuck on becoming a millionaire from Shiba Inu. Understand that you want to be profitable from Shiba Inu. You want to make a decent amount, a decent profit, which I would expect to see a 10x. I would expect to see a 15, 20x. So if you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars from this by having 10,000 invested or tens of thousands of dollars by having single digits invested, then go for it, you know? I'm, I'm all for it. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below and what you think about this. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about my new credit card channel that is in the description, but I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.